This week, I have got a delicious sugar-free rice pudding breakfast recipe for you. So if you are interested in that, stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. And if this is your first time here, my name is Pamela and I like to share deliciously easy plant-based recipes. So if those are the types of videos that you like, be sure to click that little red subscribe button down below along with the notification bell and join me every week. This week's recipe is a sugar-free rice pudding breakfast recipe, and it is absolutely delicious. Now, it does take a little bit of extra time, more than the normal kind of uh, quick oatmeal <laughs> recipe. Um, so you can actually make it the night before and reheat it, um, or if you've got that extra time in the morning, you can make it the morning of. Um, it's sugar-free, as I mentioned, and it is so good. It does not require a whole lot of ingredients. It does require pre-cooked rice, or you can cook the rice um, right before you make it. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right into the recipe. So this is a Brightline Eating friendly breakfast. So I'm going to be weighing out the ingredients. I'm going to start by weighing out four ounces of rice. This is just plain long grain white rice. And next up is the fruit. So I'm gonna do half frozen bananas and half frozen mango. It doesn't have to be frozen, this is just what I have on hand. Um, and the bananas, I'm actually going to pull these back out of this bowl and I'm gonna microwave them to thaw them. Um, but I've got six ounces total of mango and banana. So here's my thawed bananas and I'm just going to mash these. These are gonna help make the rice nice and creamy. So to my pot, I'm gonna add all of that rice and then all of the fruit along with eight ounces or one cup of any plant-based milk that you would like. I prefer the plain uh, West soy, um, unsweetened soy milk. And there's that soy milk. So next I'm gonna turn on my uh, cooktop to high and bring this up to a boil. I'm just stirring to combine everything and just stir every now and again to make sure that it doesn't, um, nothing sticks to the bottom. And go ahead and get it up to a boil. Once it's at a boil, you're going to cover it and turn it down to kind of a medium low and um, stir it every now and again to make sure that um, it doesn't stick to the bottom. And there, <laughs> you saw this, my spatula fall because I am also making breakfast for the kiddos. <laughs> um, so this is me actually making my breakfast this morning. <laughs> um, but anyway, so you're gonna um, stir it every now and again, uh, keep it at a simmer covered, and this is gonna make sure that the rice plumps up um, and gets nice and um, um, creamy. So um, here I've got it down on low and I'm just kind of monitoring to make sure that the temperature um, stays at um, a level where it's going to keep it at a nice simmer. And then once it gets to a point where it's nice and thick, go ahead and um, take the lid off and keep stirring it until it gets to the consistency that you want for your final rice pudding. And then go ahead and take it off the heat. And then to finish it, I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon and then stir that in. And then up next, I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla. And this is just a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And the rice pudding is still nice and hot, so it's gonna evaporate the alcohol in the vanilla, so you won't taste that. And then go ahead and make sure that is all combined thoroughly. Put that in your bowl. And earlier off camera, I uh, took a couple pieces of the six ounces of mango and set them aside so that I could put them on top and make this nice and pretty for you. So there is the final product. This was my breakfast this morning. And let me tell you, it is so delicious. It is a huge bowl of rice pudding and it keeps you full until lunch that is for sure all right everyone i hope you enjoyed that video and if you did as always a thumbs up is appreciated 
And if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, be sure to click it now along with the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I will see you next time.